Hello everyone, in this video, we will learn about large language models. Let's first look at what is a large language model. A large language model is a trained deep learning model that understands and generates text in a human-like fashion. So LLMs are good at understanding and generating human language. So how do we use an LLM? So as large language models are trained on the massive amount of text data, so large language model learns about patterns and languages from the massive amount of text data that they are trained on. So we pass some text as an input to the large language model. Like you can see over here, the garden was full of beautiful. So this text in the blue color is passed as an input to the large language model and large language model gives the output text that is likely to follow. So here we have the output as flowers. So we just passed the garden was full of beautiful. So this text is being passed as an input to our large language model and our large language model has give, uh, is given us the output flowers. So this is how the large language model works. Let's explore the large language models architecture. Large language models are based on transformer architecture, which is a type of neural network architecture invented by Google. And here you can see the transformer architecture as well. As I told you that large language models are trained on massive amount of text data. Plus, you can, I have already told you that we can perform multiple tasks using large language models at once. So as the large language models are based on transformer based architecture, so what makes the transformer architecture so powerful? So what makes the transformer architecture so powerful was its ability to scale effectively, allowing us to train these models on massive amount of text data. So this makes the transformer architecture very powerful. So why we call large language models? So why we use the keyword large? Why we don't call this language models? Why we use the keyword large? So because of the size and complexity of the neural network architecture, because uh, the transfer architecture is basically a neural network architecture. So because of the size and complexity of the neural network architecture, as well as the size of the data set it was trained, because as we train the language models or large language models on massive amount of text data, therefore we call large language models due to L plus as well as the size and complexity of the neural network architecture. Researchers started to make these models large and train them on huge data set that they started showing impressive results like understanding complex natural language and generating language more eloquently than ever. If you are familiar with machine learning, you know that in machine learning, we can train our machine learning model for a specific task like if we want to classify whether this tweet is positive or negative or if we just want to convert our text from French to English so we can train our machine learning model for a specific task but what makes LLM so powerful is that one model can be used for a whole variety of tasks which include chat, copywriting, translation, summarization, brainstorming code generation, points, and many more tasks. If we give large language model the input, it is raining cats and the large language model will probably predict that dog is the most likely word to follow. And we can use this autocomplete like functionality to solve tons of tasks. Let's take another example. I have two apples and I eat one. I am left with so if I just pass this text as an input to the large language model, the large language model will probably predict that one is the answer. Let's take another example. If we give the large language model the input, Paris is to France as Tokyo is to. Here we are using Palm LLM, which is the large language model by Google. The palm model outputs the answer Japan, which means that the large language model has some world knowledge as well that it learns from a training data. 
So all the text that we pass to the large language model as an input is known as prompt. And this whole art is known as prompt design. So it's raining cats. And so this is the text which I have passed to the large language model as an input. I have two apples and I eat one I am left with. So this is the text which I pass to the large language model as an input. So this text is known as prompt and this whole art is known as prompt design. In zero short learning, we just pass an instruction to the large language model. For example, write me a poem about Ada Lovelace in the style of Shakespeare or explain the quantum physics to me like I am five years old. So in zero short learning, we simply pass an instruction to the large language model. Instead of just providing the large language model, the instruction in few short learning, we also provide the model, the examples, like what we want. So here you can see that here we just provide the instruction to the large language model, convert the text from English to French. In few short learning, we also provide some examples to the large language model like what we want. So then we give some examples establishing the text pattern. So in few short learning, instead of just providing the instruction, we also provide examples to the large language model like what we want. So here is the example of few short learning. In the first step, we pass an instruction to the large language model, convert the text from English to French. Then we pass an example to the large language model what we want. So you can see that example establishing the text pattern. So here you can like green a color you can see the prompt. So if we pass this prompt to the large language model we get back something like this. Now you can see that in the yellow color we have the output from the large language model. Now you can see that the model did the French did provide a French translation of lip lipstick but you can also notice that it went on to generate all these additional English to French tra translation prayers. This might seem unexpected but the LLM is just completing the pattern that we gave it in the prompt. That's all from this video. Thank you for watching.